Hello everyone, my name is Mouse Tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to add a meta block. Now, what is a meta block? A meta block is a block with one block ID, but with multiple blocks. So, an example of this is wool. Wool has one ID, but it has like 15 different blocks. Um, the difference about these blocks is mostly the texture. Now, there are also automated blocks like wood and so on. But it's a really easy method to just use one block ID for mostly the same blocks. So that is what we're going to do. Now in order to do this, you want to declare a new block. So public, static, block, meta block. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to make a class for that. Now I have already set up the textures, the names, and the block IDs and stuff like that. So you might want to do that really quick if you haven't already. So meta block is new block meta block. I'm going to use block IDs dot block meta ID. So I'm just going to use one. Uh, one ID to make all my seven, sorry, eight blocks. Okay, so we need to create a class for our meta block. Now, what this block is going to do is it's going to extend block top. And once again, I'm very sorry if I um, that I said it, but you do need this method in your block top because otherwise it will register from two different directories, and that's not what you want. So if you have watched my previous tutorial and I said I, you could delete it, please ignore that. Put it back because you can't. I have already put an annotation up. So what we want to do is we want to make the constructor. So this is going to take one integer being the ID. And that's going to give it the material as well. Now what I also want to do is this dot set creative tab uh, top dot tab top. So very basic stuff till now. So you should be able to do that. Cleaning up a bit. There we go. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create an array uh, of icons. This array is gonna hold all the textures for our i uh, for our block. So all the different metas are going to have different um, textures. So public icon array, and I'm going to call it icons. And we might need to add the icon. OK, so what we want to do now is register the icons for our meta. So add site only, because again, these are textures. These are textures, so only the site.client has to do this stuff. Um, we want to say public void register icons. And that's going to have a icon register. Uh, icon rag. Let's call that icon rag. That's fine for now. Import and save. Okay, so icons, my array of icons is going to be a new array new icon array and that's going to hold eight textures so you define the number of textures right there cool now four so we want to make a for loop int y is zero uh, i is less than icons dot length so for each and every icon we want to do this what do we want to do? Well, we want to say icons, the current array icons. So the array is going to have a index right now. And that index is equal to icon rack dot register icon. And now we need to give it the string of the icon that it needs to register. Now you want to put reference, reference dot mod ID. And then add a semicolon, sorry, a column, and add this 
dot get unlocalized name two plus i. So what is this gonna do? This is gonna register TLP column and then unlocalized name two. And the unlocalized name two is the name without tile dot. If you go to our language file, you'll see that we have tile dot new block. Now unlocalized name two will only um, return new block. It won't return the tile dot new block. So we are registering top column um, meta block zero one two three four five six seven eight seven. So that's what we are going to register. What we also want to do is add a new method called site only, site client, because this is again about the textures. Public icon, so it's going to return the icon, get icon. This needs two integers, uh, int y and int j. And this is basically just going to return icons and then the index so this is basically only going to return our icons if we need to and what we also want to do is uh, add a list of which sub blocks it has and again this is a site only sites.client this is called public let's scroll down a bit void get sub blocks this needs an integer id creative tabs uh, creative tabs and it needs a list let's call it list let's just do easy so import everything um, i think we need the java util list i'm pretty sure we do Okay, so once again, we will, we are going to add each and every block to our game. So for int uh, i is 0. Wow, i is less than 8. And i++. plus plus. So for each of these, we want to say list dot add so we're gonna add something to the list new item stack we're gonna add a new item stack returning the id we need only one and we're gonna return i so that makes uh, that gives our uh, damage so our meta information import item stack and that's it for our meta uh, class so this is everything you need to set up the textures and to add the sub blocks so that's great now we are not done yet because we need to register it dot register block now we need to give it the block of course we need to give it the name strings the block made uh, the underscore name but we also need to give it a block item class and that is to add each and every name. So just make a class called block item top dot class. So we are gonna also return that, but I'll I'll add that in a bit. Just one second to fix the errors. What is that called? Strings. Oh, we have two semicolon. We have two commas. Okay, so add a semicolon there and create our class. Now this class needs to extend uh, block item of or item block. I don't know item block. It might be. Yeah, there we go. Item block. Okay, super, cool. So add the constructor.
Int ID, int, uh, we're gonna pass the super to the material.rock. That's great, or does that... Okay, it doesn't need a material. Of course, it is an item, it doesn't need a material. What was I doing? Okay, well, what we also need to set is that this dot set has subtypes. And we want to set that to true, because this block has multiple metas. So that's cool, that's cool. What we want to do now is add each and every single language or names for our block. And we're going to do that by using public string public string get unlocalized name and we need an item stack for that cool import item stack because it wants to okay now what we're gonna say is we're gonna have a default string name that's gonna be empty for now so that's uh, empty for now and what we want to do is we want to switch now what do we want to switch? Item stack dot get item damage. So basically we are gonna switch the meta value. Case it is zero. So case our damage is zero, case our meta is zero. We want the name to be zero. And if that is done, we want to break. Now we want to do this for each and every meta, so in my case I'll add about 7 of these. So case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4, case 5, case 6 and case 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now you could also change this to lava or water or moon, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Uh, this is just what name it needs to have. Okay, now that is done. We need to return something, and that's gonna be get an uh, this dot get an localized name plus the name. So it's gonna return block meta the default block meta name plus whatever I defined up here. Now, in order to be able to call this, we need to add public int get meta we need an integer called meta and we're just going to return meta just so we can access it really easy cool let's run it and let's see how it works if it works and how it works so there it goes minecraft is loading we shouldn't have any loading um textures there or yeah a few but not like that much Oh, something is null, so that's great. Okay, that was really stupid. I forgot to set the unlocalized name in the block meta block. So you want to do that as well, don't forget that. So once you have done that, it should all be fine. There we go. As you can see, I have in my inventory a load of meta blocks with all different names. I have declared that in my texture file, in my language file. They all have a different texture. They have one ID which they share, defined in the configuration. And that's how you do it. So if you like this tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and hopefully I'll see you next time. So this was my tutorial. Have a nice day.